My name is Ian Cruikshank. I'm the head of sales and marketing for Speedshift Media. Speedshift Media is a company that actually has spent a huge amount of time working in the space, over 13 years, actually building technology solutions for all sorts of great companies, helping them to drive traffic to their own websites, and primarily the vehicle detail page. And in the last little while, in fact about three or four years, we've focused on doing that for dealers specifically, so helping Tier 3 Automotive to drive more high quality traffic to their websites and of course sell more cars. It's a really exciting time to be in automotive and, and particularly when you can come to events like this and participate in a way that is competitive, um, exciting um, and sharing insights that you see every day in the office that you're not necessarily able to find a, a, a podium, let alone a whole stage and a whole audience to tell about these cool things that you discover. So for us, the most valuable insights actually has come as a, a byproduct of what it is that we do every day. So we built this extraordinary data management platform to help us determine what car to show the right consumer out in the marketplace. And in doing that, we also have to track what happens on the dealer's site when traffic goes from an ad unit or something like that over to the website. And we changed the way that we track that information recently. We changed from a format where we were just setting up specific events to where we track the entire clickstream. We track all of the activity that happens on the page and then extract the parts that are important to us in our business. And we do that specifically because if things change, things break, you can lose data if you're not measuring everything. So we measure all the different pieces. Well, as a byproduct of that, we're actually able to figure out what's really happening in aggregate on the website. So for us, what we decided to do as our most valuable insight, and apparently it was seen as valuable from the assembled group here, what we did is we explored categorizing all of the different touch points that you can interact with on a vehicle detail page. So, of course, the lead form and anywhere where you put in your email, and that really is, for all of the dealers here at the event, that really is the most important part. They want leads, and we completely understand that. But we also tracked links, whether it's a link to a, uh, an hours and directions part of the site or a link externally to um, Carfax or something like that. We tracked social sharing, chat, we tracked um, photos and we tracked uh, video and 360 views, that sort of thing. And we put those in different categories. So all of those categories, we wanted to see if anything accelerated as a vehicle moved closer to being sold. So we wanted to understand if anywhere between 60 days out and the day the vehicle was sold, if there was any change in any of those things, an indicator that your vehicle is gonna sell. Because in the marketplace today, we only get about 24% of people that actually complete a form online and say, I want a car. So that's not enough people to really forecast and to really understand what's going on. Now, through this research, we've actually determined that there's only one set of indicators that will actually tell you that the car is getting closer to being sold and that that interest in that car is accelerating. And that's views of photos, videos, and 360 degree views of the car. So think of it this way, it's pretty simple really when you think about it. Someone wants a car and they get excited about it. And for me, the last time I bought a vehicle, you know, I'm showing people the car, I'm showing my spouse, I'm showing my friends, I'm showing my colleagues, because I'm about to get that car in my driveway. So things accelerate, we see that activity, and things get exciting. And we can derive a lot of really interesting things from that insight. So we're in an interesting time in automotive. We're in an interesting time for any business. We're in a time where there's so much disruption happening. There's so much digital disruption. And I actually spend time in my uh, private life, if you will, actually teaching about digital disruption at our local university. I think it's, it's vital for people to actually grab that bull by the horns and, and understand it and make good things happen with it. In the automotive space, it's even more important because it's such an exciting place for people to do business. And so a lot of people are coming after this business. There's a lot of um, you know, entrenched ways about doing new things, about doing things that we have for, for many years. And now this move towards creating new formats, selling vehicles online as a simple example versus selling a vehicle in store. 
So those major disruptions versus even just the little ones of um, how people communicate effectively online, all that sort of stuff, are all things that are so important and that the industry really needs to focus its attention on. In fact, in just about every talk that I give in different sessions around the marketplace at different events, I talk about an important 5% of one's budget. One should always set aside 5% of one's budget to be able to try something new. To be able to try something new and exciting and different, whether they've been introduced to it by a young company that's come in who's local, whether they come across something at a show that's really exciting, you don't want to have to wait six, nine months till you do your whole revision of your budget again. You want to make sure you've got cash in the bank to innovate and to try new things. Simply put, nobody really loves change unless they're a little weird. Frankly, I'm a little weird. And I think there should be a little more weirdness in the industry. There should be more embracing of this change. It's happening. You see it all over the place. That you know the rate of change is accelerating and accelerating and accelerating. And the most valuable insights awards is a platform for people in the industry to embrace some of that change. That frankly, most of those people submitting do every day. You know, my colleagues like Doug and Jim working so hard in their own businesses and coming up with really great things that they can share with the industry. So. For anyone to come in and participate in an event like this, obviously super important, but really it's just a, a great platform to shed the light on some of these great innovations that are probably happening every single day, if not more regularly than that. And this just puts a few under the spotlight, makes it easier for people to see what's happening, and it gives companies like ourselves a real opportunity to show off what we're up to. and take that from this stage at President's Club to a larger stage at Driving Sales Executive Summit and beyond. So it's an exciting time for all of us.